and what's going on guys in this video we're going to talk about the nomadic navigator travel backpack 15 liter we're going to talk about how it's helped me in the past with my travels we're also going to dive into some of my favorite uh, special highlighted features of the bag and then also we're going to talk about who this bag is for and who it could potentially help uh, in the future with their travels all that plus some final tips towards the end so make sure you stick around let's dive into it and what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel Benjamin Harden here back with another travel and lifestyle video as you guys may be aware if you've seen any of the vids on this channel I put a videos just like this one that basically contain my personal experiences uh, and I hope that sharing this sort of information with you helps you in the future with your travel adventures um, if this interests you then by all means consider subscribing I just want to take out <laughs> Once again, a bit more time just to, just to say a massive thank you once again to all of you that continue to subscribe to the channel and show the continued support in the comments and through the direct messages and stuff because honestly it means so much to me uh, to be able to um, share this experience and help you guys and be able to help more people down the line as well with their travels. So massive thank you for that. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be diving in to talk about uh, one of my favorite items that I've, that I've used whilst traveling. Uh, this, is a, this is the Nomadic Navigator Travel 15 litre backpack. I've currently got it on my back at the moment because <laughs> it goes with me everywhere I go, <laughs> literally. Also guys, just to mention, this video is not sponsored or endorsed by Nomadic or third party. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I know how much it's helped me with my travels and my adventures. And if it's helped me, then maybe it can help other aspiring travelers out there as well. So that is the reason to what has inspired me to do this video uh, today. And I hope you enjoy. Let's dive into it. Before I started looking for a bag, I knew that I would have a lot of travels coming up, whether it be uh, um, moving from Northern Territory to Western Australia domestically on short haul flight, but then also uh, flying back here to the UK for long haul flights. I needed something that was going to be um, able to be a good companion to store all my gadgets and my equipment um, and all of my stuff anyway. Um, so I needed something that was going to be able to help with that. I also wanted to know where all of my stuff was, i.e. my certain gadgets um, put into certain places um, so that when I do want to capture the moment, I do want to film good, uh, um, good stuff, I want to be able to access the, um, the right gadgets at the right time and then pull them out of my bag to use them. With this bag, there's so many different compartments which will go into the highlight features in a bit, but um, I needed it to be an all-round good everyday carry that would allow me to be flexible with what sort of, with helping me with what sort of trips I want to do, um, and also be like a long-term bag, like so, like something that can be durable and resistant and last for for years down the line, um, in order to equip me on my trips, uh, whichever whatever trips I decide to do. I also wanted a bag that would be super comfortable that I could wear literally like for hours on end um, whether it be on my on my back or when I carry it on my front as well when I have the big 60 litre on the back um, but then also I wanted something that would be sweat resistant and when I say that I mean that with my previous Vans bag um, because there was no space between my back and the bag I just used to sweat on it loads of times um, with this one, there's, uh, there's mesh panels where it allows um, air to get through, which is a lot better because then, one, you're not sweating on the backpack, and two, it allows your, your back to get airflow through it as well, which is, which is a, a massive highlight in my opinion, yeah. And so that brings us on to the highlight features. The first one that we're going to dive into is one of my favorites, is one of the reasons why I've bought the bag in the first place. It's the laptop pocket. Now, um, wherever I'm going, whether it be short haul, long haul trips, anything, I always take my laptop with me because I like to be mobile with not only doing my work, um, but also editing um, and trying to do that sort of stuff. So to have a bag that that stores my laptop safely if you put it in the bag it doesn't touch the bottom of the bag um, so I'm super buzzed that it's a really nice place for it to be stored um, and it's 
it's it's kind of out the way at the back of the pack so it's um, an easier place for um, it to be hidden a little bit more. Next highlight feature would be the Passport RFID uh, pocket. Um, with me, I always need to know where I put my passport specifically. Um, this because for easy access to take it out. When I have this backpack on my front, in order to get the passport out of my out of the passport um, pocket, all I'd do is I'd undo the zip. Then I'd lich of uh, the main bit of the bag. I'd go into the bag, undo the front zip, take the passport out, give it to the person or to the immigrations or whatever, and then put it back specifically in that pocket. When I know that it's specifically in there, there's nowhere else it would be. So if it's not in there, then I need to figure out where it is, etc. Uh, exactly. Next up for the highlight features is the water bottle pocket. Whenever I'm out doing my travels. Um, whether it be doing beaches, mountains, hikes, you name it, there's nothing better than having a nice cold water um, to, to, to see you on your travels. Um, with this bag, it has a pocket that goes into the bag. Um, it also is protected with a waterproof um, uh, liner. Um, it does take up bits in the bag, but it's super easy, uh, it fits quite a variety of water bottles um, and it's super helpful for me for for, for when I'm on my travels and I, I, I need to hydrate 100%. And then there's the fleece foam pocket with the cable pass through which is located just at the top here. Um, with this it's super nice because it protects your phone screen. I normally have a phone screen um, protector on there anyway but uh, extra protection is always good. Um, and then also I put my battery pack in the main compartment, put the cable, USB cable through, the pass through in the bag, and then that'll then be then come through into the fleece pocket in which I normally keep my phone in there. It stores most phones. It's a super easy, helpful pocket at the top of the bag that you can access whenever you need. Another one of my favorite things uh, with this bag, another highlight is the expansion zip. So normally this bag is a 15 litre. To expand it, there's a zip located at the back here. You just zip it all the way around and it'll expand and it'll give you some extra litres on there for extra storage. Uh, there's been times where I've been doing like um, short haul trips and then I, I end up picking up more stuff and put it in the bag and then it just begins, it's, it, be it becomes so, so tight within there. I just do that expansion zip and it gives me that extra space and that e extra flexibility. Another great thing that I love about this bag is the no tamper zips. So just to explain really quickly, um, when you bring two of the, uh, two of the uh, zips together, you're allowed to pass them through to each other. Uh, so this basically just helps with um, making sure that that nobody mess around with it, um, and that it's not easy to access the bag when you're when it's on your bag and you're not looking, etc. So another great thing for security, extra security, and being able to keep all of your valuables safe. Is there anything that I don't like about about this bag? Um, after having it for four months specifically, I haven't found anything wrong with it at this current point in time. Um, the only one thing I will say is the price tag. Like, it's not cheap. It's, 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 it's quite pricey. However, when I look to buy a product or to have something, I want it for the long term and the exchange of lifetime value for how much I paid for it, I'm hoping to get that money back out of the use for it. Um, and so far so good. I've used it on on quite a lot of trips and I'm gonna use it for a lot more down the line as well. So that definitely uh, took in, uh, had to be taken into consideration when I purchased the product. So who's this bag for? Um, I would say for people that are wanting something light and easy to use is the everyday carry. Um, with all the pockets and all the features, it allows you to become a lot more organized within your travels. If you have a lot of tech stuff, like myself, you have a lot of gadgets and you wanna utilize those specific pockets and know where everything is, that is also very good. If you're doing long trips or short trips, I feel that this bag has the flexibility um, to be able to, to equip you for, for both. So um, 
depending on what sort of, of trips you're doing, then yeah, I reckon this, ba this bag has super helped me with it as well. And so moving on to the final tips bit in this video, almighty question that needs to be asked, do I recommend this bag? And the answer to that simply is yes. So far from having it for four months, um, I feel that what I paid in, in money, the exchange of value for quality and durability has so far passed that test for me. Um, uh, when I buy products or anything online, I want it to have a long, sh uh, a long, a long life um, of being able to use it. I try and use my gadgets and my items literally till they burn out or till they break. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can say that the four, first four months have been amazing with it. One quick thing I do really want to mention with this bag, though, is that it is water resistant, so it can like fight off rain. However, if you live in full time in tropical climates or in places where it rains a lot, I'd suggest getting like a water cover for it, just just so you got that extra protection. If you're using this bag as a tech bag like I do, and you're putting loads of expensive stuff in it, like your laptop, your drone, um, GoPro cameras, all that sort of stuff, you definitely don't want water seeping through. So to have that extra protection is just a peace of mind at the end of the day and something that is gonna cost not a lot to, to have that extra extra care on it, yeah. And lastly, guys, I'm gonna leave all the helpful, useful links down below in the description box um, about how you can learn more about this bag um, and look at all of the features and see if it's something that you would like to equip yourself with on your adventures and your travels. Um, just to let you know, some of them below might be affiliate links, so if you do go through and um, grab something on there, then um, it may give me a kickback to help support this channel, um, just to let you know. And so guys, that brings us on to the end of the episode. I just want to say a massive huge thank you uh, for sticking to the end and for watching this video. If you've got some value out of this video, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more travel content coming soon uh, to this channel. Um, and we'll see you guys back in the next video, um, wherever we are and wherever we end up. Cheers guys, thank you very much, take care and speak soon, bye.